Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Wow, that sounds pretty fucked, you but did okay. Your what about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. Yeah, maybe. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. Hmm. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. If you say so. Alright. Next time we're going to go on the missions. Is We haven't heard from him in a while. I believe the last time we used him was back on Grunt's loyalty mission. Oh, and look who happened to tag along. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Monkey. Whoa, monkey, not cool. <laughs> that monkey was Take defying the laws of physics, I had to put it down. Oh, monkey, calm down. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. 
Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Hmm. We'd better get moving. They're at the southern access. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Cool. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Got nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. Well, way to take a page out of my book. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. That's what I did at the fucking Krogan base. Jesus, Said, you fucking copycat. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. This isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. Once Vito's dead, we can discuss anything you want. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, did not see this either. Right. That's fucking in my face. Man, some free shit. Alright, let's keep moving. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. I get why you want Vito dead, but is he really worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stopped to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. And honestly, this comes back kind of this, to a similar situation back in the first game. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad Where it's you like... see it my way. Do you want to save this group of people no! and let the terrorist guy get away? That's pretty much what this is. It's like, do you want to save these innocents so this really bad person can get away and possibly do more, you know, evil shit? Or do you let these innocents die and stop him from ever letting other innocents die? You know, letting hundreds die to save thousands? I know some people may look at it like losing hundreds just to fucking kill one person. Nah, no, it's losing hundreds to possibly save like thousands. Even more. Wow, there was that guy on that bridge. R.I.P. bro. Oh shit. But yeah. I'm sure there's people who disagree with what I say, like, nah, you gotta save the innocents no matter what. That's up to you, bro. You don't like it, play it for yourself. The 
this is valuable. Oh yeah, more shit they have to research. Probably lead to more plants. That just went down. Stop hiding behind these men and come fight me. Firing can cut this shot. I really shouldn't be a sniper just because. I have terrible accuracy, but I can't help it. I love sniping too much. It's fun. Anyway, forward. Good, I need that shit. I'm running quite low on it. Ah yes, the firestorm. I'll take it. Wonderful weapon. Not really. I greatly prefer my uh, collector beam over the firestorm. Firestorm does have a bit more use in the third game. Well, at least for one mission, anyway. Hi, guys. Alright. Now that, yep, there's a weapon loadout station over there. Just want to check. Make sure there's nothing of importance up here. Doesn't look like it. So we're going to hit up this. And switch back to my particle beam. Quick clack. And then, because I think that will be useful here later in this mission. Okay, that's what you want to do. Dead. Seeing on how I can use unity here. Where is Zaid? Nothing can hurt me. Oh shit, fucking ass. Oh shit, I can just use unity. I just wasted my meta God damn it. 